Yeah, obviously, uh, I want to give a shout out to my wife. Um, she's the rock of the family. It's a little early back home on the West Coast, so I don't know if she's watching. But, uh, <laughs> nah, just, um, you know, the, what she goes through and, you know, just the support, it's uh, unbelievable. Just a beautiful relationship those two have, and Christy's so strong through all of this. She is a phenomenal lady. Yep. Oh, a little family time. You got back from a road trip, Garrett Cooper and his family, as he gets set for the start here. Well, May 30th, 2023 is going to be a day that Blair Calvo will never forget as he takes the mound in the bottom of the eighth inning here at Chase Field to make his major league debut. He has a ton of family in the stands. You see his wife, Alexa, with their newborn, who was just born at March, looking on, excited. So sweet to see her emotion as he took the field. But speaking to her earlier, when he got the call last night, they were driving from Albuquerque to Salt Lake City with their newborn for the series this week. They're about an hour away from Salt Lake City and they were at in and out in the drive through and Blair gets the call from Isotopes manager Pedro Lopez saying that he got called up so you can bet those burgers stayed on the dash floor. They flew the rest of the way to Salt Lake City stayed the night there flew out at 8 a.m. this morning. He was completely caught off guard but what a special day you can see the tears flowing for the family. He has a whole crew here a very very special day for the Calvo family guys. There you go. Hey share come on. Don't be Jimmy jacking around. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, fantastic. See, that's what was going on while you were reading yeah. the uh, promo. Right. So I got, I, got, I got swept up in it. Like a good love story, you know? So are they. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Ambassador's talked about his wife earlier, and early in the season before it started, his young child was sick, and his wife said, You stay in bed, you got to pitch tomorrow. Baseball wives are special, they understand that. It's a unique job and you pitch every five days and, and Chris really appreciates the support he gets from his wife. I can speak from experience of course. Mm -hmm. Forty seven years yeah. with a baseball wife. Yeah. All right, we we're talking about Jamie yeah. and everything she's uh, done to support you. I mean she's been right there th this whole time. Yeah she's been a rock. Um, definitely earned her nurse's certification over the last six or eight weeks. Um, I'm starting to rely on her a lot less which I'm sure she's happy about. But um, Man, I can't thank her enough. Um, yeah, I mean, it just would be a, a struggle without uh, the support you, but there. But you still, you probably won't be able to walk the dogs for like another year, year and a half. <laughs> Tell her, okay. <laughs> no, but she, I mean, she's been working hard. Um, she's got a lot of things going on in the background, too. Um, we're hosting an event in the next couple of weeks that she's really been uh, working hard on and, and putting a lot of energy into. So um, I'm glad that I'm able to kind of do more for myself and she can she can focus on things that are important to, to her and to us. Hey congratulations. Nice way to work your way into the weekend with some nuptials. Moments ago Jordan Westberg with his parents and his wife. And we have a seventh inning stretch proposal perhaps. We seem a little indecisive. I haven't seen him take a what, knee what, but there's the ring. I guess we got it after the knee. Oh uh, congratulations. Oh. Yes. Right near your statue, no. which is the most romantic place in the ballpark. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, and in the year of disengagements, it's good to uh, actually see that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate engagement. Look at this. The kids are getting involved, too. It got even better during the fourth inning of today's game. Her now fiance, Ken, getting down on one knee, proposing to her a few innings ago. Of course, she said yes. Janie Duane B.A. is a hero. She has an award to show for it. And now she can add fiance to that resume as well. What a day for Janie and her family. There we go. Cassie, his wife. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. They just said. <laughs> Kudos to my wife, by the way. I don't. It's amazing how much you miss when you're gone, right? And then you get back home, and you're like, "How in the heck did she do it?" <laughs> so, kudos to her, man. It's it's been a lot of fun to be back. So. Yeah, it's hard to be a baseball wife, isn't it? Especially when you got the little ones. It might be the hardest job. Hey, we'd like to congratulate big Cup fans Josh and Amy Storm a happy 22nd anniversary. Happy anniversary, you guys. Uh oh, we got a we got a wedding coming up. Yeah, there you go. Bride and groom, groom to be. That's a that's a cool spot to take a picture. All those uh, Miller Lite beer cans, making up the old ball and glove logo. And we got a bride. 
Well, she's beautiful. Best wishes to you, my dear. And a call strike to Acuna. That's a happy couple. Giants fans. And they love Tim Linsko. JD, I think somebody's getting married yeah, of out course, there. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Love is in the air. I want to, when you give the story about your wedding, yeah, we were getting married right there, and Cattell Marte hit a two run homer. <laughs> and Christian Walker almost hit the priest in the back of the head. <laughs> Well, I Does guess when you think about it, uh, the cost of a venue and the church and all oh, yeah. that is cheaper than tickets to the ball game. Well, or it's more expensive than tickets to the ball. Getting game. married is yeah. in his Cubs uh, uniform there. Mm -hmm.